Hello my YouTube fans. So this is an on demand video and in this video I will be showing you how the current flows in the piezoelectric lighter. So whenever the spark is getting generated between the nozzle and the wire which you are seeing in the picture. So how the current actually flowing inside a lighter. So this is the part where magic happens. So this part is generating electricity and in result it is creating a spark. As you could see whenever I am pressing the push button it is generating an electric arc between the wire and the push button. But the question is why it is generating against the push button? As the push button is made up of plastic and we all know plastic is bad conductor of heat and electricity. So you can see in the video very clearly even though I have placed a plastic wall uh, between the push button and the wire still the spark is getting uh, generated between the wire and the push button. So you can see it clearly. Let me take another angle. So you can see here the spark is clearly getting generated between the wire and the push button. Let's move a step ahead. Why the push button is working as a negative potential? So again I am showing this picture and I have taken out this part so it will look something like this. Now let's remove the metallic lever and this is the push button. Here we go. It came out of the main unit. And if you could see both the units are having a spring residing inside them. So let's take out the spring from the base unit and the push button. If you could see the push button spring it is attached with a metal uh, which is working as a hammer while it is hitting the piezo crystal. Don't worry we will see this later in the video. If you could observe the main unit the piezo crystal highlighted in yellow sitting in the base of the unit and the blue colored wire is connected to the metallic base of the main unit. Now let's reassemble this part. The spring with hammer will go inside the push button and normal spring will go inside the main unit and further the push button will go inside the main unit and it will look something like this. And now you could see the exact position of all the parts inside the main unit. And here is the well labeled diagram of the unit. You can pause the video and have a look on it. And now the time to see the things in action. And here we go. As soon as the user starts pressing the push button, both springs begin contracting, resulting in the storage of high amount of potential energy. Once the push button is about to reach the end, the push button spring suddenly releases and expands all at once, converting the potential energy into kinetic energy, which accelerates the hammer to hit the piezo crystal with some force, approximately 0.1 to 0.5 newtons. And this is the same amount of force that you are applying with your finger to check the firmness of an apple if it is fresh. So with this amount of force 800 volts are generated which is sufficient to create an electric arc due to the huge potential difference between the two terminals. As a result it ignites the gas coming out from the lighter's nozzle. If you have observed the video carefully, you might have noticed the movement of yellow dot denoting the flow of electrons which reaches the tip of the wire from bottom and creates the electric spark or you can say the electric arc between the wire's tip and the upper portion of the push button spring. So here wire tip is at higher potential and the spring is working at lower potential because at the same time hammer attached with the spring is touching the upper portion of the piezo crystal which completes the circuit. So this part of the lighter is just to generate the electric arc. Now we will put it back into the lighter and we'll see how it helps to ignite the flame. So except metallic nozzle cover and the push button cover everything else has been assembled and now I am applying the pressure on the push button which generates the electric arc and ignites the lighter. So if you have noticed in this part the arc is getting generated between the nozzle and the wire tip. So how, how come it got shifted from a spring to the nozzle tip? So here metallic lever is acting as a new electron carrier between the spring and the nozzle. Let me show you the flow of electron in this case. 
So you can see the movement of yellow dot from wire skip towards nozzle and then nozzle is passing it to the spring via metallic lever and this is how it completes the circuit. Just have a look on this close up video for more clarity. So as soon as I am pressing the push button it is creating a spark between the wire tip and the nozzle and metallic lever is helping to create the path between the nozzle and the spring and this is how the circuit is completing and it is generating the spark to ignite the lighter you might have noticed one more thing whenever i am pressing the push button it helps metallic lever to lift up the nozzle and release the gas just a fraction of second before the electric arc is generated and hence it ignites the lighter So here I have removed the metallic lever and you can see the spark is not getting generated properly. It is directly going towards the spring and this is how it will malfunction if you will not put the, this particular metallic lever in place. So this is playing a big role in lifting up the nozzle and also transferring the electron towards the spring. So I hope this video has given lot and lot of clarity about the circuit completion in the piezoelectric lighter, especially this type of lighter. And this is the slow motion video for the same. You can see this electric spark, how properly it is getting generated between the wire uh, tip and the nozzle. And it is igniting up the lighter. So guys, whenever you are pressing the lighter to ignite the flame, just salute to this complex mechanism happening inside this small piece of engineering. That too on your fingertips. And if you feel the video is informational, please like this video and share this video as much as you can and subscribe my channel for the latest update. And last but not the least, just don't forget to press the bell icon to get the quick notification about my video. See you in the next video. Keep rocking. Bye-bye.